Yes, it's the sit down. It's your main man, M. Easy. Across from me this afternoon is Tobias Trevillian. What's up? What's up, my? How's everything? Oh, everything is good, man. I'm in the game and still playing. I, I know you're on Empire. Yes, I am. But I seen something when I was doing some research on you. Talk to me about this Marvis, Marcus Garvey biopic. Biopic. Oh, that's something I think somebody has a good idea. You know, they trying to attach some name actors to it, and they, you know put my name out there. I don't know, really know too much information about that. I saw that out there. It was on my IMDB, but mm -hmm. I really don't have anything to do with that. Oh, okay. But I do have some Marcus Garvey ideas that I'm putting together okay. on my side of things, you know. As far as what? Well, I'm a filmmaker, you know, okay. producer among other things. I'm a, you know, photographer. People don't know that. And I'm actually a really good cook, but we ain't gonna talk about that today. You single? But you know, there's a young lady out there I got oh, my eye see, on. see, what is the problem? Nobody don't know. never no, want to play I'm trying to tell you something, man. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You go know, ahead. I see her every day. But, you know what I mean? She's beautiful, and I think, I'm, I think I'm about to step to her, man. She don't even know that it's coming. You know, she don't even know. So she about to get a surprise. She about to get the surprise okay, so of life. See, the secret of mine she's been waiting like. for. That's why I like gentlemen like this. Yeah, let's let's turn this around. So, know, so how are you going to surprise her? In what way are you going to... Uh, swing her off her feet. I mean, Ladies, so, pay attention. I mean, this is, we going into some details right here. Go ahead, right let now. me know. I mean, it always going to start off with a simple conversation and shit, but, you know, oh, excuse me, one of the main things I do, you know, I say is I cook. Maybe I might bring her over, invite her over. That was the gym you know, that I used to do. We that make that our own, also. you know, yeah, you, you know, instead of going to the club, I make the club in the house. You feel me? I, I put got them the lights. I put a little spotlight. Little candle. You know what I mean? Put the music. Real low. Do some, you Spray know, do some, some breeze around the area. You exactly. Know do some work that you might do, you know, some switch it up on the music side. I might go old school on or bring it to the new school. Mm -hmm. And then we, we have our own little club situation. You know what I mean? And just see what happens. And you know what? We keep it lit, turned up, all them things the young kids saying. You know, it's Tobias it guys a G. Yeah, I like yeah, him. I like this yeah. already. It's to sit down. She made man M easy. Um, so you think she's gonna come? She know, like I know, she coming in more ways than one. Oh my man! Yeah. Oh yes. Okay. All right. Sorry. That was just for the ladies. Let's, my bad. Let's, let's I'm get, sorry. Let's, let's, let's go back. Let's get into the business. Let's get into the business. Empire. What role do you play on Empire? So people know. I play the role of D Major. He's a music executive. Mm -hmm. He's um. Uh, he's basically. He's a. Uh, plays a down low character. I play a guy who's like a homo homosexual that's on the down low, and okay. he's basically like the love interest to Jesse Smollett, who is uh the oh, main yes, character yes. Jamal yeah, on Jamal. the show. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. All right. Yeah, now, yeah. when you read the script, did you feel any way about going for that role? Yeah, I mean, you know, being, me being who I am, you know, but I'm an actor, so, you know, it was like, all right, this call's coming for me. People, you know, been watching my career for a long time and seeing all the work that I did, and, you know, this opportunity is here, and, you know, this is what I do. I'm an actor, so I just dove in and made it happen, and here I am talking to you. I mean, but you've got, you can't tell me it hasn't been a little awkward. Filming, filming scenes like that, being a straight man, come on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's awkward, you know, it's something that I never thought I'd be doing in my lifetime, but, you know, like I say, I'm an actor, so it's like anything that you do, I gotta give it 100%, and, you know, those stories are being told. I'm playing a character on television of somebody's real life out there in the world, so you'd be surprised at how many people have come up to me and been like, yo, man, you know, thank you for that, you know, I appreciate the work that you're doing, you know, and, you know, it's a day and age. It's not something that's not been it. I think we just seen mm -hmm. more of it. You yeah, know what I I'm agree. saying? And, um, you know, you know what the music game is. You'd be surprised what you see at 2 o'clock in the morning in the club. You'd be like, oh, my. <laughs> but, you I've know, seen some things, bro. I know <laughs> what you mean. Yeah, so, you know, we're just portraying, uh, you know, big, big shout out to Lee Daniels and the creators of Empire being able to tell these stories to push the envelope. And um, I just think that, you know, D Major has a lot of layers to him. And I've been very fortunate to have great characters in my life. And D Major is that kind of cat that, you know, there's different ways we might be able to go with him. Now, um, have, you know what, we have a lady here. Janelle, yeah. come, come, come over here. Do, do you have a problem that he plays a gay man on, on TV? Would you still date him? Me, personally? Yes. Oh, no. Ooh. Really? Because the because he plays the gay man on TV, that would bother you. A little bit. 
Oh, that's interesting. I mean, I mean, it's so strange because I think one thing that we do a lot sometimes we kind of kind of throw this like broad stroke across mm -hmm, everything, mm -hmm. and I think it's so unfair because like you know I play many different roles, gangster roles. I play up straight cats, you know, mm -hmm. different kind of cats, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but yeah, okay. it is what it is. I think, um, you know, I think the, I think people have their own preference, you know. And anybody that gets a chance to really know me and talk to me, they know who I am. They know, you know, what I'm about. You seem like a strong, strong willed brother. I don't think that's yeah. that's uh, that comes off wrong. Exactly. You, you good? It's the sit down, <laughs> Shemaine, man, M. Easy, Tobias Trevillians in the building. Yeah. Um, before Empire, what yes. was your life like? Oh, I mean. Like I said, I've been a working actor for a long time. You see me in Hitch, you see me in Brooklyn's Finest, Paid in Full. Uh, I originated a character on One Life to Live called Vincent Jones. Uh, you see me in your Fantasia videos, Heineken videos. You see me in your back in the day in the Source magazines as your Nietzsche spokesmodel and Tommy Hilfiger and all these things. I mean, I've been in the game for a long time. The difference is now I have people call me by my first name. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah. like we went to school together, which is cool. And there's, you know, a lot of love to the uh, fans out there who love Empire and been following me for a long time. And it's just been an amazing ride, you know, working with Terrence Howard and Taraji and Jesse and Trey and Yaz, who's in, uh, you know, in the new... The BBD yeah, 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 yeah. You know, new he edition. He played a good joint. part of it in that, I heard. Yeah, and it's just been giving me a lot of more empowerment with the stuff that I do, you know, I, I also teach in the inner city of Newark, New Jersey. Really? With oh, really? Raz Baraka. I have a um, all year round drama program with my brother Ronnie Gilbert. We're gonna connect. I'm from yeah. Jersey. I think there's some, there's some things we could be yeah. doing in Jersey for the, for Newark and the whole Jersey as a whole. Oh, yeah, Absolutely. yeah, it's, it's happening. And I'm actually living in the city now. I'm originally from Queens, New York. For all my people out there in Flushing, Queens, Whoa. you know, from the Ville and stuff. Um, <laughs> but now I reside in Newark, New Jersey. Chats you Jersey. know, you know, Brick City. Mm -hmm. My boys do it all in red and all those cats in the mayor, like I said. Um, and also, it's, it's also helped me empower myself because I'm also a filmmaker. So now I'm able to give other people jobs. I teach TV production, so I got my students on site with me, you know, carrying a boom, carrying a camera, you know, being grips and gaffers mm. and stuff. So this is a kind of, you know, empowerment that Empire has been able to give me, which I've been in turn able to give back to the people. And especially with everything that's going on in the world, it's like, it's, it's important. And this is who I am. I was already originally. It's just give, empower me more. Well, I'm able to speak to you, speak to the brothers, and be, you know, face-to-face -face with the people that can make something happen. Wow. Tobias Trevelyan's in the building. It's to sit down with Shemaine, man. I'm easy. Talk. I mean, the inauguration just happened. Yeah. Give me some, some of your feelings on, on how you think the country's going to be moving forward with Donald Trump as our new president. That sounds oh. weird. Yeah, it's weird. I feel like this is a perfect time for brown, yellow, red people to finally realize that most of our struggles, most of our stripes that we have are common. And this is the perfect time to show that, like, okay, we can come together. We can make a difference. And it's just, you know, it's a lot deeper than just what's going on in our community. It's happening across the board. So it's a good time for us to show that we can come together. It's a good time to have a conversation with a brother. It's a good time to mentor a young cat in the hood. It's a good time to, you know, bring a young sister to go see Hidden Figures and, you know, see some of our history, you know. These are the Man. things that's happening in the city of Newark. These are things that's happening around me all the time. So, you know, I think it's a good time. You know, we live in a special time right now and it, more than ever, it's, you know, it's time to get it. What made you want to give back to the community? I mean, people did it for me, you know. Sometimes you never know what you might say to a young person that just changes their whole outlook, you know. Amen. And, you know, when the kids could see me in the classroom, but then they could see me on TV, you know, playing a character that's different than who I am, uh, you know, it gives them hope, it gives them access, because a lot of these young cats out here, you know, they're doing things, and, you know, it's just, we need each other. We got to make it happen. Who were some of the actors you looked up to and who gave you that olive branch when you were in your, on your come up? Oh, man, there's tons of cats. I mean, I come up in the black theater, so at the National Black Theater, I have, you know, anybody that ever meets me, I always say I'm in the game and still playing. And that was one of my producers, Tunde Samuels, rest his soul, at, up at MBT and Dr. Tia, you know, these people, you know, fed me, clothed me, took care of me, showed me the arts. You know, I got family up in, uh, in Cooling the Game. And, uh, you know, they show me the music, you know, introduced me to a lot of young brothers who um, I've come up with. You know, I think the uh, young actors that I see that are working now, we all come up together and we've been supporting each other for a long time. 
you know, all kind of, you'd be surprised what kind of forms, uh, you know, people come in and help you along the way. You know, so it's like, it's important for me to pay it forward. It's important for all of us, I think, to do the same thing. Absolutely. Day. As a yeah. whole people, you need to pay it forward. Yeah. It's dope. It's to sit down with your main man, M. Easy. And Easy. Anything else you want to talk about, man? What's up? Oh, man. Um. Well, I got the, I got some films coming out. You like know, what? Well, I would love to support. Come on. Yeah. Talk um, there's a, a film called Products of the American Ghetto, where I'm in uh, Darren Henson and Robin Givens and my man uh, Keith Robinson and Brody. It's going to be at the Pan-African Film Festival in California at the top of February. Um, I got another film called Secrets with Howard Housemore and Denise Lawton. That's traveling around the circuit. Um, what else I got? There's another film, The Trade. There's a few films, The Trade, that I'm doing with Michael Boogie Pickney, who is a big prodigy from um, the Spike Lee camp. Okay. You know, he's coming up um, with that piece. And not to mention, like I said, um, I have my corners piece that I'm working on and been getting a lot of my active friends from the New York area involved and all over, you know, all over. We've been getting music and stuff from everybody and uh, you're gonna be seeing you're gonna be seeing a lot of a lot of what I'm doing if you haven't seen it yet, you're gonna be seeing a lot more in the near future. I'm excited. I'm waiting for it, man. Yeah. I, I, I like your energy and I like I like the, a lot of the things you, that you're doing and you're speaking about and I think if everything goes the way you want it world is your oyster brother amen amen you know what they say absolute abundance absolute energy and absolute power you know you have those three things you should be able to accomplish anything you want man mm, mm, mm. thank you for coming <laughs> needed this one <laughs> after the that. last one i needed this one yeah. this was some good soul food you know yeah, what i'm saying soul food baby yeah. shout to uh tobias trevillian for coming through any last words and you follow you on instagram yeah yeah oh like yeah that? you can always find me they they gave me a stamp now, so I'm Tobias Trevelyan on Instagram and Tobias Trevelyan on your Facebook. And, you know, you can always go to TobiasTrevelyan.com and find out, um, follow me and follow follow all my work and things that I've done in the past. And, um, yeah, there's a uh, matter of fact, the Newark Arts Gala, we're having a big uh, uh, gala this coming March. So check me out on Tobias Trevelyan on the Instagram and uh, come out and support and it's just so much, there's so much going on, not to mention, uh, you know, I've been getting back to my Caribbean roots, my grandfather's from Barbados, and I've been rocking with the Tempo Networks with Frederick Morton, and we're doing some work out in the Caribbean and different places and bringing an awareness of how many, you know, artists and, and, and people that are in the industry with the Caribbean roots back you know, mm -hmm. back in the Caribbean. So those things are happening. And Make sure you get a plate of some jerk chicken and rice outside, son. <laughs> yeah, baby. Handle oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tobias Trevelyan coming through it, hanging out for the sit down. I appreciate you, man. Hey. And if things don't work out with homegirl, yeah. come hang. We'll go get some girls. Yeah, yeah baby. Tell that. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Shh. Shut <laughs> Fuck. I think she's mad already. <laughs> Damn, I was just. Don't even tame it.